$1,000 cash allowance on the purchase of most 2025 Ram 1500 trucks. Don't miss Ram Power Days. Hurry in today. At Arbor Freight, we do business differently from the other guys. We design and test our own tools and sell them directly to you. No middleman. Just quality tools you can trust at prices you'll love. When you need a tool that does it all, you need Tostitos Restaurant Stock. Optimized for versatility, Tostitos can tackle every snack, big or small. Because if you're going to do something, do it right. Tostitos Restaurant Stock, made for snack. Look, I got the new iPhone 16 Pro at Verizon. and Apple Intelligence is pretty awesome. Nice. You can get it when you trade in any phone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see, it's wrong. <laughs> Switch to Verizon and get the new iPhone 16 Pro and get a new iPad and Apple One all on us. That's over $1,600 in value. Only on Verizon. What if you never had to worry about what you could do? Because you could do anything. Anywhere could be the center of everywhere. The boundaries only existed to be pushed. So the only limit you faced is how big you could dream. What would you do then? Some pretty cool stuff, I bet. Yeah, that'd be some life. That'd be life unlimited. When weight kept them down, science helped them soar. When morning kisses turned sour, science made them sweet. When itching kept them up, science helped them rest easy. When the world gave them setbacks, Science gave them bounce backs. And when your vet delivered life altering news, science delivered life changing nutrition. Hills Prescription Diet. Science did that. You can start planning your 2025 ballpark visits. Go to MLB.com slash tickets to learn more. Oh, what a bold move. Stephen Bowe takes his ace out, brings on his. One of his ace relievers. And only one more run comes in. Yankees get one of the first, two in the second. Three nothing. Yankees lead it as we play in the third inning. Garrett Cole back to work. Bo Naylor, bowled for 13 this postseason. Desperate for his first hit. Ooh, that move's going to be talked about for a while. We do have Stephen Bo lined up for an interview. Can't wait to hear his thoughts on that but cannot be passive in the postseason and the first year skipper certainly was not and i'm with you frenchy you you take your chance right there because game two could get away from you in that moment with one swing of the bat case is a shutdown guy he, he says put out a fire and he did exactly that and kept the guardian in this ball game early smith will certainly come back out for the third you can go multiple innings Stephen Bowe told us before the game, this is a game you have to win. Well, he's managing it yes. like it's a game that he has to win. It does not feel like his state, though. He goes, eh, it's not a must win. <laughs> but knowing he had Bybee, an off day, and then Matthew Boyd, his two best starters. There's a swing and a miss. Naylor strikes out. And Garrett Cole picks up his third K and looks sharp early. He's only given up the one hit. It was a single to start last inning. Again, the high fastball that was so effective in yesterday's game. The left-hander, Rodon, is still playing here with the right-handed lineup of the Guardians here in Game 2. Number 9 hitter, Brian Rocchio. Rocchio has really been a presence at the plate, unexpected presence here in this postseason. He's hit it all six games he's played it, technically still a rookie even though he came up last year with the Guardians. And he stays hot. He dumps one into left center, a base hit. Rokio just swinging with great confidence. Seven game hit streak in the postseason. And it's a one out base runner. Play a beautiful piece of hit, and we talked about it. The two guys, Juan and Rokio guys, combined hitting 455 for the Guardians. The rest of the team, 160. So. Tokyo has been like a second leadoff hitter down at the bottom part of the order. Longest hitting streaks to start a postseason career in franchise history. Brian Rocchio 
And he turns over the lineup to Stephen Kwan. Remember the difference in Stephen Kwan's game, I think, this year. He's been able to turn on that ball when he is ahead in the count. 14 home runs this year. They've all come from center field to the right field foul pole. Yeah, he's definitely not looking to go off of Tucker. We, we can say that. But as you said, we've seen this whole postseason when he gets two strikes, he's great at going the other way and wearing it out. They almost is uh, two different hitting styles. Can be a slap hitter, but he can be a hitter with some full power as well. We've seen a little bit of both. His first hit out this postseason. He ripped the pitch off the right field fence in Cleveland in game one against Detroit. Three balls, no strikes. And Cole misses badly, and Quad is aboard with a walk. And suddenly, a single and a walk. The Guardians, with their best hitters coming up, have something cooking with one out. And right here, guys, this is exactly, you see Wells is going to go out and talk to Cole, but this is exactly why Kate Smith had to come in this ballgame. If it's 5 6 7 nothing with Jared Cole on the mound, he's going to feel comfortable. Now, all of a sudden, you're one swing away from tying this ballgame back up. So, Kyle Manzardo, number two hitter. <laughs> Yeah, he swings in his first half bat despite the strikeout. You got Ramirez up after that. And Naylor, who's already has a double in the books. The, the mediocrity. Right? The right? You need an Aaron Judge. Well, however this turns out for Stephen Vogt, that was not a move you make on paper to walk Soto to face Judge, but he's, he's an old catcher, an all-star. He's using his eyes. He read the game there. See how it's feel, how Judge is swinging the bat right now. Judge had the sack fly, but no further damage. Manzardo is an excellent fastball hitter. He's been 333 this year against a fastball. 650 slug against the fastball. Cole deals a 1-0, and he puts a fastball by him, fouls it back. Manzardo, a rookie, uh, will ultimately yeah. be a first baseman, uh. playing first base every day. Right now is the DH with Josh Naylor occupying first base. One ball, one strike. Guardians with two on, and Cole misses for the changeup. A lot of knuckle curves, a lot of changeups for Gary Cole so far early in this game. He's identified that the Secondary pitchers should have success, but he hasn't hit with a lot of them. Yeah. That's Ardo Antsy in the box. And did he go? He did not. Able to check his swing. The curveball from Gary Cole. Oh, the sun. No. No, he didn't swing. Not close there. Interesting here. He talked about the he swing. He's a great, great fastball hitter. He's in a fastball count. But you don't want to load the bases for Ramirez in one out. 3 1. Gave it the fastball. Manzardo a little eager for it. Fouls it away. Had a chase ball four. Big bat. Looming large next. But also a slumping hitter in Jose Ramirez. Sometimes the score dictates what you have to throw as a pitcher. Being aggressive here against Manzaro should be the play for Garrett Cole. Three and two and one out. Here he comes. Manzardo off the knuckles. A little pop up to Chisholm. A foul pop for out number two. Garrett Cole stayed on him with the fastball. Out at 98 miles an hour. One of his better fastballs yet. And picks up a big second out with Ramirez coming up. I talked to the three game guys about Judge and Ramirez. Judge. At the moment, he got a sack fly. Ramirez, this is where his team needs him right here. He got a base hit to get one run on the board, something to change this game a little bit and get the momentum going to guard.